Here we are in Helltown, Ohio. This is the end of the world road. It's very windy. Reminds me of like Final Destination or something. Definitely see people getting murdered out here. <laughs> uh, I decided to come during the day so I could explore a little bit more. Uh, supposedly the abandoned barn is on this road along with Stanford House, along with uh, the end of the world, I believe is at the end of this road. I probably should not be hauling ass down this road. So this is Stanford Road, it's just past Stanford House, looking for a decent spot to park here. But this is pretty much the aura of Helltown, Ohio. It's uh, pretty desolate with a few creepy roadways and uh, stuff like that. I believe Stanford House is up here. This looks like it might be a cemetery. Or maybe an oil well. <laughs> One of the two. Oh, this is an oil well. Come around this curve. It's fucking tight here. Holy shit. Alright, and I think up here is the end of the world. Is what they call it. I'm going to have to figure out how the fuck I'm going to third around up here. Or where I'm going to park. Otherwise, I'm going to have to bike this road to get back here. Alright, this is the end of the world right here. You can see the sign. You can see it ends right there. You can't see over the edge. That's why it's called the end of the world. Cars, hop this and just drop off. Holy shit, now I see why it's called the end of the world. Wow, okay. We're gonna turn around and come uh, find a way to place to park and revisit this. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> All right, so now that we're on a vehicle that's somewhat legal over here, uh, we're gonna bike this 1.3 miles down Stanford Road until we get to the end of the world again. I really underestimated the fact that I'd be doing the fucking Tour de France to get here, but uh, we're approaching it. It's right here. 1.5 miles down Stanford Road off Main Street. The end of the world. You can see the sign. Definitely gonna ride the bike down this hill. One thing I will say that's remarkable is I expected to see a bunch of people and coming to check it out and people walking riding their bikes and stuff. And granted, it's the middle of October, but this place is literally a ghost town. I have not seen anybody here. Not one person, so. Here we go. It's the end of the world. Well, let's do it. I might not make it back, allegedly. Here we go. This used to be an old road, and obviously it was closed down because the cities of Boston and Peninsula didn't want to pay for it. They were fixed. It's a pretty sketchy road, as you can see. Apparently, there's some sketchy shit that happens down here. Apparently there's some abandoned barns and homes and whatnot. Here's the uh, old bridge. Here's the actual end of the world. Just seen in the pictures from like the 90s when people used to go there. This is where it was barricaded off previously. There's a newer beer can. There have been people down here, but <clears throat> here's the bridge. Kind of a crybaby bridge of the area. And here's where the old road close signs used to be.
This right here is where you see a guy on the bike always move this rock and take his dirt bike pass through here. So. Hey, I might go on that path. And Fuck being a pussy. Let's hope a cop doesn't get me for trespassing. <laughs> Check her out, I guess. I'm wondering if I should, uh... This says, uh, no bikes, so I don't know what to do here, but... Whatever. Alright. So this is the old road that used to come through Boston Township. Apparently there's a, uh, Abandoned train tracks down here. We're gonna go find those. Uh, down there is a river. Down there is where I just came from at the end of the world. This is the old road that's been closed down. This is continuing the end of the world. So I guess I'll uh, keep taking it and see where, see where it leaves me. Hopefully I'll get those train tracks. All right, so here's an abandoned home. This looks newer, kinda. This is an entire ghost town in the middle of Ohio. So everything here is abandoned and spooky. <clears throat> Double padlocked. There's probably not too much interesting stuff in the garage. It's the back of the home. windows in this house are pretty old so must be a house from the 50s or 60s I believe this town was evacuated by the US government in the 60s here's the gutters laying on the ground in the middle of abandoned Stanford Road so here's Stanford Road that's the end of the world where I just came from Here's the old blocked off driveway to the old man's uh, old abandoned barn. And this is another one of those slaughterhouse myths that uh, was a slaughterhouse back here. They used to hang meat, for pigs, and cows, and humans too, apparently. There it is in the distance. You can see the roof. It's red. So let's get down there and walk around it and check her out. Some old farming equipment. If anybody can identify this, let me know. Looks like it hitched up to a trailer or a tractor somehow. Yeah, there's a trailer or a tractor hitch. Wow. That's awesome. Let's go check out the slaughterhouse. Pretty spooked out a little bit.
this thing is. It's an old footer for something. Steel roof. There's uh, some old electric lines. So this place did have power at some point. So this might be 60s era. It's another concrete footer for something. They're all over. Pretty sturdy structure. Go ahead and shut the door. There's a sliding door. Well, like Bob Ballard says, leave it how you found it, right? It's creepy. Right, let's check out the barn. Here's the driveway. Well, it was the driveway. Let's get into the barn. Eight by eight. Um, apparently a low budget movie was filmed here too. So a lot of props have been left here, but I don't know. We're in. Oh my god, there's a news. Holy fuck, there's a fucking news. Holy shit. Is that a news? Top floor of the Red Barn corner, Stanford Road. I've heard some creepy shit about this, but I'm like 80% sure there's a noose up there. And it just got really shitty out here too. So this is the Helltown Barn. I would love to try to get inside of it. slaughterhouse apparently this was uh, where they would hang the meat back in the day and apparently there's a legend that uh, more than just cows and pigs were slaughtered in here yeah, this is creepy during the day couldn't even imagine at night So as of right now, this is the best I'm able to do for you guys. So here we are at Boston Cemetery. Someone died in 1917, 1936. Wow. I can't even read some of these. 1918, 1921. This right here is the Stanford 
family plot. As you can see, there's a Stanford that died in 41. There's a Stanford that died in 2013. There's a Stanford that died in 1939. These are all Stanfords. And look how old this is. A guy who died 50 years in 1854. These are all the original. There's the guy right there who founded this area. James Stanford. So this is pretty interesting. I mean, these are old gravestones. This is pretty remarkable to me. This is old. <laughs> so if you're looking for the Stanford, just find the giant obelisk. Go check out over here.